Hey guys, and welcome to Farm Together. Here with Dust Cars, he's gonna show us the ropes. Okay, go ahead. All right, so I suppose the mechanics of growing everything that you plant uh, has a certain amount of time it takes to grow. If you hit Q, you can see what could be planted this season and how long it will take to grow in real time. And that time passes even if you're not in the game. How long's the season? Season's about 17 minutes. You can see the, the progress of the season in the top right of the screen. Oh, We're okay. in winter right now, so it's an ice cube. And the green is of uh, that is how far into the season we are. Oh, okay. So if you look at one of these plants, you'll see these have about like five and a half hours to grow. And there's a water symbol above it. If you see the little, looks like a water droplet with a circle around it. That so means it needs to be watered. Yeah, well, but the thing to the thing to pay attention to is what kind of what kind of grow uh, grow time is left. So look at it before you water it, and then look at it after you water it. Okay, so it cuts two hours off the grow time. Well, it's not it's not strictly two hours. It's it's a reduction in the amount of time that it takes. Typically, you want to water it right at the beginning when you plant it, and then about halfway through. If you like, uh, if say, let's say there was two minutes left on this, if you watered it, it wouldn't do anything. Oh, okay. So, do we want to water these grapes at this time? Uh, not really. Okay. Because I'm probably not going to harvest these till tomorrow. So, what do we got over here? More grapes. So, grapes could. Like really profitable, or uh, they're all right. Okay, I'm just use them to mine. So now we're looking at these lemon trees. So do these produce fruit every? They do, but only in fall. Okay, so only in fall. So the thirty-nine minute countdown isn't going to do anything when it finishes because it's not fall. Well, in thirty-nine minutes, it will be fall. Oh, I'm following. So does it just get one harvest off trees, or...? No, trees are uh, probably the best uh, thing to do. Well, not starting out, but once you have some money, trees are a good investment, because they're a significant cost up front, but they don't require any maintenance or anything else. You don't have to water them, you don't have to feed them, you don't have to do anything. There's just all money after that. You just have to go and harvest them. Yeah. Whereas uh, plants, I mean, unless it's a very short timer or you you don't really care about the boost, you do need to water them. Okay. So these are going to be done in a few hours. Yeah. But again, I probably won't be around for that. Um, so these trees, so can we... Do we want to harvest these cypress trees? Yeah. Yeah, if you see a basket over something, that means it's harvestable. So cypress trees, are they a winter tree then, or...? If you hit Q, and then look under the tree tab, you'll see what it costs to buy it, what you'll get out of harvesting it, and as you level it up, you'll get more money out of that. And you can see you can see when it says harvest each, that means you can harvest it each of those seasons, and then the resource type. So this produces nuts. Oh, okay. So we have to sell our crops. Like, so do crops once you pick them go into a pool, or do you just automatically sell them? Um, both. So when you Eric, come over here. So when you harvest one of these things, you'll see at the bottom uh, a couple different icons pop up. You'll see how much money you got for it, how much experience you got for it, and how much of the resource you got for it. So you're getting 155 coin for experience and one nut for every time you harvest. So if you hit escape, over on the left hand side of the screen you'll see inventory and how much of each resource you have. 
So if we're maxed out on nuts, do we not get nuts every time we harvest from here? Correct. We're not getting any more. So if you come over here... Where should we... I don't think I have one. Hang on. So these are nut stands. And what and these this does two things. First of all, it increases the amount of that resource type that we can hold. Now we can hold 180 nuts. Oh, okay. And you'll see that it says uh, 20 over 40. That means if we had 40 nuts, um, we could, uh, uh, the, you see the pink boxes that's around stuff? Don't click on them. But do you see the pink boxes like over here? Yep. All right, that means that we have enough of that resource to sell. Or the, you know, the milk stand here means we sell milk. And over here, this is the uh, fruit press, which means we have enough fruit to turn it into jam. Okay. So if you come over here to like the fruit stand, we have enough fruit in our inventory to sell fruit. So go ahead and click on it. So for that, we get diamonds, which is another currency type. Oh, but you can only do that every minute. Yeah. So you need so, a whole bunch of fruit stands if you want to do it like over and over again. Yeah, but typically I don't sell directly or fruit directly anymore because I'm turning it into jam. Although we're maxed out on jam, so not doing that either. So okay. grapes we can turn into wine. You can go ahead and click on that. And that gives us 15 diamonds. Oh, okay. Just for mit turning it into wine, do we or do we sell yeah. the wine after? Uh, no, there's no wine stands currently. Oh, okay. So this is a kind of a sales stand. Yeah. So what I'm saving up for right now, if you see, if you look on the top right of your screen, the different currency types. Yep. You have uh, gold, diamonds, and ribbons. So ribbons are very hard to get. Typically, you need to complete quests to do that. You'll get two ribbons each time you complete a quest. Okay. And uh, the gas pumps, which you which you saw over here, it's two ribbons for a gas pump, and the gas pump is what you need to operate your tractor. Okay. So what does the tractor do? So if you saw when you were watering, you can only water one tile at a time. With a tractor, you can do nine. Oh, you can do nine by nine. But it, it but yeah. it uses fuel. Yes. And how do we get fuel? Uh, you click on that thing. Oh, so it's so you it, it doesn't cost any resources. You can just only get so much fuel every like minute or so. A minute. Yeah. And so, like with the uh, air follow me. I think you can harvest this stuff in spring. Yeah. So, this right here, this is plowed land, but it's harvested. So you can do it that way, one by or one at a time, or you can use a tractor to plow all of them. And the same goes for harvesting resources. If you come right here, you can get all the trees at one time. Oh, okay in a three by three grid. So it's a significant time saving to use the tractor then? Yes. We have sp space in our inventory for all these stuff, right? Uh, yeah, I'm not check. worried about it. Go ahead. Okay. So our current quest then is to to get more Holstein cows. Is that the idea or what? Yeah, we have to harvest uh, sixty more Holstein cows. So where are our cows at? 
All right, before I show you that, these sure. are the silos. These do not work like you think they would work. It, like if you look down the bottom of the of the silo, it says 1K. You don't get 1K for selling wheat to the silo. You spend, you buy wheat from the silo, and we don't want to do that. Oh, okay. But it increases our storage of wheat, so that's why they're there. Oh, so it kind of does both. So if we come down, actually, let's go over here first. So the dairy, is that a sales place or is that just increase the amount of milk we can have? That uh, increases the amount of milk that we can have and it turns uh, milk into cheese. And cheese you can sell at a, uh, uh, like a cheese stand. Oh, the reason I have eight ribbons right now is that I'm saving up to make, to make a jam stand, which will increase the amount of jam that we can store and every time we sell jam it uh, will earn us one ribbon so that's the way to do that oh really so, so that's a, a, a really good way to get ribbon then yes so this uh, these are the animals we can go ahead and harvest these guys so are we getting eggs from this yep oops I just accidentally threw more food out so does feeding the animals function the same way as watering? It does not. So if you come over here to these guys, it says no food. So let's see, the chickens, the New Hampshire chickens will produce eggs every hour, but they require their need to be fed every 15 minutes. So if you uh, go ahead and feed them. So now, or actually no, they're required to be fed every 30 minutes. So if you look at them now, if you look at them now, you'll see that uh, the timer's going and they're, the bar around their food is yellow and that's checking down. Yeah. So it doesn't, feeding them doesn't speed up the process. It just allows the process to run. So you'd, if you wanted to get these, you'd have to log on every half hour to feed them then. Yeah. If you wanted a, is this, so do they give eggs? Those guys, yeah. But a different and type cows. of, a different type cows of eggs than milk. these ducks though, right? I don't think so. Oh, okay. So what's the advantage of having different animals? Just cosmetic or? Um, there's a different profitability to them, same as the, uh, like, uh, same as everything else, like oh, okay. red grapes, green grapes, and, uh, blue grapes. They all give grapes, but, uh, each, they're not all equally profitable, and they don't, and they don't all have the same grow times. Oh, okay. So, these are the Holstein cows, and these are very expensive to feed. So we're feeding them. What do we? How do we know what we're feeding them? Or is it just a straight cost? Like I, if you if uh, you see on the bottom uh, by the cow, it says 1.25k. Okay. Yeah. So that is how much it costs to feed uh, one tile. Oh, and if and we feed, are, we have to feed all tiles, right? Yeah, all tiles that are connected. So there are 20 here. So it's going to cost. Uh, like 25,000 25, yeah so do you set the guys. size of your pastures then no you place down the tiles individually but like but you could have made this a three by three or a four by four if you'd wanted right or a one by five yeah yeah and did you choose how many cows you put in here each tile produces a cow oh each tile produces a cow so you're buying the towel, the tile, and the cow comes with it. Yeah, I don't think they visually represent 20 cows, but you got the idea. Yeah. Okay, so yeah, cows are 12, 12,000. Do you have Berkshire pigs? Yes, Berkshire pigs are over here. Okay. 
So, what do the pigs produce? So, when you uh, when you start the game, you only start with you see the, like these things that are walled off. Yep. You only start with one of these, and then as you level up, I think it's every five levels, uh, you get to unlock a new one. So, we need to be at level thirty-one to unlock this, and it costs diamonds as well. Oh, the last, uh, the last one I bought cost 675 diamonds, so this one's probably gonna be, I don't know, seven or 800. Oh, okay. And we're getting that mainly from Jam, or we're we kind of doing a bunch of different things to get the diamonds? Um, it was probably a lot from Jam. Yeah. But like we said, we're maxed out on Jam right now, so I don't want to make any more of that. Yeah. So the fruit press is here. Are we? Do we want to press fruit? No, because that makes jam. Oh, that—that's what makes jam. Okay. <laughs> so, so when I hit escape here, we have fruits, vegetables, and grapes. So, like, when we go into the menu now. Oops, sorry. If we go into like the buy menu, so all like carrots, lettuce, and all them, they all just give you vegetables, right? There's not like a specific inventory for lettuce and carrots and everything. Correct. Correct. Okay. You like said it's a uh, stop. You made jam. <laughs> Didn't mean to. So the so now how do our fish work then? Fish what? or. Uh... So you buy the you buy the you buy the plot for the fish. Oh, no, no, no. It kind of work like the other animals. Only again, they don't require any maintenance or anything like that. It's just when you uh, when they are fishable, there's a chance that you'll get something. Oh, so you're not guaranteed a fish. Correct. But so they, they're not season over... dependent. So cute. They're not. Season dependent. So they're kind of like trees in a way. Eat your mouth. Yeah, I guess. So, so what's your opinion on fish? Are they a good investment or? No. No. I mean, if you were gonna do them, I'd do it like I did over here, which is you have a bunch of small separate ponds because you get uh, more chances of actually catching a fish. Like I just did those over there. I did the koi pond just for aesthetics, basically. Oh, okay. The koi pond has yet to pay out. <laughs> so, so we, if you fish, you get one fish for each of the tile? You catch them. Yeah, like if you hit your 60% catch rate or whatever it, it is. Yeah, but it's because these are all connected, you're only rolling once. Yeah. And then you can get a big catch or a small catch too, can't you? So, but a big catch is a lot more uncommon, right? You're generally going to get a small catch. Would be my You're opinion. generally not going to catch anything. Or at least that's been my experience. Oh, okay. So the fish quests kind of suck. <laughs> so, so, are the quests the same for everybody, or is it like a random procedural role? Uh, that I don't know. Okay. I don't think they're this. I don't think one leads to another. That's, that's like, it's like you're not gonna. I don't. You're not gonna get like. Uh, or if my first quest was like to make, to get like twenty cabbages, yours wouldn't necessarily be that as well. Oh okay. A, I am pretty sure it is level dependent as well, because the quests that I got when I started uh, working my farm were much more difficult than the ones when we were working on Boss Farm because I was a higher level oh, okay. when I start when I started working on mine. So do we want to make wine at the moment or we're just kind of holding out right now for the cows? What? Like what's our goal at the moment on this farm? Oh, our goal at the moment on this farm is just cows. Everything else that I've planted is pretty much just long-term crops. Kind of. Because the thing that I guess 
or uh, I took away from working on Boz Farm is the way that we did Boz Farm is that like there were four of us playing and we did we did a lot of crops that have a very low growth timer which meant that we had a lot of work to do all the time the fish are fishable by the way okay definitely want to try the fish fish to fish mm -hmm. I got some fish, Des. <laughs> okay, so these fish have, are these a high, oops. How do I untill a field? X. To make sure I'm on the road when I do that. Okay, so those fish are 50% catch rate. So at the moment, do we want to be making wine? Yeah, because there's no wine cell that just goes directly into diamonds. Okay. I think there's more wineries over here. So what do sunflowers, which resource do those kind of contribute those to? Are, those are flowers. Oh, okay. And they don't, uh, and they're not anything. I thought they were nuts. I think I'm pretty sure. Let me check. Yeah, sunflowers are nuts. Sorry. Oh, okay. It's, it's uh, poppies are flowers. And and what do greenhouses do here? Uh, this increases our storage of flowers. Oh, okay. And it's where, it's where you sell flowers. Oh, okay. Okay. So These roads? are honeycombs. Okay. You produce one per day. And they one. cost diamonds to buy. Oh, okay. So are diamonds... So, like, diamonds... At the beginning of the game, you don't have any? Is that kind of the idea? And then you have to work your way up to getting stuff that gives you diamonds, or...? Like, the first stands that you buy... Uh, what are they? Uh, the very first stand that you buy is a vegetable stand, and that costs gold instead of diamonds. All the other stands cost either diamonds or ribbons. Oh, okay. So roads, do they have a functional purpose other than kind of dividing your land up, or...? No, they're just aesthetic. So... We... did some rather unscientific tests and they do not seem to provide any sort of movement speed bonus. Although they probably should. Okay, so fences for like crops, do they do anything or just kind of nicely divide up your farm for you? Yeah, just aesthetics. Aesthetics. Do animals have to be in fences or no? They do not. Although okay. it generally, they, you can knock them out of place by a great distance if you if there is no fence if you're law. I know I was pushing your pigs around earlier. Okay, so if you fail to catch fish, you still get some experience. You just don't get the fish. If you don't get the fish, you get a little bit of money. You get like ten percent of what you would get if you did catch them. Yeah. So, all all our quests are shared though, on this farm, right? Correct. But if but if I went to Vaz Farm, I'd have a different quest. Yes. Yeah, the quests are not. Uh, the quests are not uh, bound to your character. They're bound to the farm, and the uh, what you can plant is also not bound to your character that's bound to the farm so like so what does my my level do your level allows you to do more customization and it also allows you to store more fuel on yourself oh, okay 
you want me to harvest your bamboo? Sure. So what is so bamboo? What are we? It's is it kind of like a tree or what's it's? Bamboo produces vegetables. But you, but it it doesn't have to be replanted or anything. Correct. It's a tree. Oh okay. So when I look at something, it has a star and a number. So that's kind of like its level, kind, of, in a way. Or yeah. What? The higher, the higher level something is, the more it will pay out. But it doesn't always mean it'll be longer, does it? Or is it pretty much always longer? No. If you had like, so the growth time for lettuce is ten minutes. It will always be ten minutes without the speed boost. Um, it's just, if it was, uh, like, my le lettuce is level 9, which means it pays out 35 gold every time you harvest it. I think at level 1, it would only pay out 30 or less. I don't remember. I think 30. Oh, okay. So if I plant, you're saying if I plant stuff, I get less money, or? On your farm. Oh, just on my farm. Okay. Yeah, remember, everything is for the farm. It's not oh, for okay. you. Okay. So, did you want me to plant anything over here by the cows, or you're good for the moment? Yeah, I'm good for the moment. Okay. We got some plowed land here that's not planted, but... Okay. Uh, so, since these are... Did, if you did want to plant something, there is a little space over here by the trees. Okay, well, not, not by the trees, but in the general direction of the trees. Okay, head over to the trees. Also, by, do you have to build these bridges, or bridges come with the train? Bridges come with the train. Okay. Like, I'm by where your banana trees are and everything. Not, not the banana trees, where the plums were. Okay, plums, Roger. Okay, I'm at plums. No, you're not. Keep going. Are these plums here? No. Nope. Those are lemons. Oh. Plums are over there. And oh. that can probably be harvested as well. But if you wanted to plant something, you can put strawberries right here. Okay, will do. So, strawberries. So, why are we planting strawberries? What's we thinking? Strawberries make fruit. Fruit makes jam. But are they a, a certain amount of grow time, or we're just... And it's one day and 12 hours. Okay. But it costs 800 to plant them, and they pay out uh, 2k when you harvest them. So like, okay. What was your question? Well, so we have we can plant <coughs> strawberries that are give us one fruit, but we can also plant like one second. I'm still looking here. Like we could also is there something that's like a shorter time that we can plant that gives us more fruit per time? Like watermelons. Like watermelons and strawberries give you the same amount of fruit, don't they? Yes, but watermelons take two days. It says ten minutes. Oh, sorry. No, no sorry. I'm, I'm thinking of just regular melon. melons. I apologize. Yeah. The melons, only, melons only take ten minutes. And they give you one fruit, so do strawberries, right? Correct. It's the only difference is the coins, right? Yeah. So, uh, the, yeah, melons... Uh, about a week ago, probably, were insanely profitable. They were not borderline broken, they were broken, wouldn't you say, Shadow? Yep. Because, like, if you look at it right now, it costs, uh, it costs a thousand to plant a melon, and you only, can, so, but the other thing to consider is that every time you plow the field, it costs ten coin. Because you have to replow it after you harvest yep. something. So really, you're only making 60 coin off of that. 
But aren't you mostly but, going for the fruit? Because you can turn it into... No, no, no. Okay, no, I'll let wait, you finish. But, so, uh, but remember, every time you level it up, it pays more. So, it had... When we were working Voss Farm, uh, a bunch of like really good crops came in. So, we uh, we had a lot of money. And we had just leveled up melons. All right. So, we're like, all right, let's try these melons out. And so, we planted a fuck ton of them. And by the time we were done planting, the grow time was so short, they were basically done. So we harvested them and they leveled up insanely fast. So by the time I think we were, when we were, like, were done for the day, they were paying out 500 for each one or 500 profit for each one. Oh, really? And with, and with a gross time of 10 minutes, like we made her a ton of money very quickly. So they nerfed how much uh, money is gained from the level up and melons are I would say only worth doing for the fruit now yeah which I think and, is more probably their intention yeah but in terms of watering I generally only uh only do it right after I plant. Oh, okay. So yeah, we do it right after we plant, and then maybe when maybe you're like halfway, halfway through. Yeah. Because remember, like, if you do it right before you're supposed to harvest it, you're not going to get any benefit out of it, and it's just not worth the gas to do that. Yeah. Okay. Like, these are going to be up in four hours. I'm not going to be playing in four hours, so yeah. I'll probably just get these in the morning. Uh, but they never decay. Like, you could leave it for a week and uh, we would still be fine. Not true. Okay. Uh, you could probably leave it for a week, but I don't remember the exact time, but plants will wither and die after... I five believe they days. Say five, five to seven days. Okay, so yeah, it's, it's not... It's So you do have to come back eventually. Yeah. So that's good to know. It's so weird. What? My... But I know this person on YouTube, she has my... Like... Five thousand followers, subscribers, whatever. Oh, feed the pigs. So, why do the pigs, or sorry, why do these cows have different harvest timers? If they're in the same plot. Because you harvest the tiles individually, unfortunately. Oh, okay. I didn't know that. Which makes sense, I guess. So how many cows do we have here? Are these... Uh, 80 total. So in about 40 minutes we'll be done a quest then. Yeah, that was the idea. I'm probably not going to use them too much after that. Although, if you level them up, they, they, the payout is, is good. You know, the payout, starting out for most things, unless they have a very long growth timer, is not that great. Okay, so, and we're going for the jam stand. That's what we're shooting for. Yeah, so we can get more gas pumps. So, are we making cheese at the moment? Yes. So, where's our cheese? station over here the, yeah the, the dairy this uh, dairy makes cheese and you need a cheese stand to sell that and that gives ribbons oh okay yeah that's what you need 10 at. ribbons to buy one of those yeah which is why you're doing stupid quests with cows yep and why we don't have more gas pumps So how, how, I guess I can look. 
there are three gas bombs currently. Okay, which so is it's about two. enough for one person. So it's two ribbons per gas bomb. Yeah. So the only things that cost ribbons then are the stalls and the gas bombs. Is that correct? I'm pretty sure, yes. Yep. So... Uh, are ribbons that hard to come by that we only have three gas pumps? Yeah, but you gotta do these quests. And you might get lucky and have, you know, one like this. But I mean, like, if... If I didn't have the money, this would this quest would take a very long time to complete. Or you might get a quest asking you to harvest like 200 pumpkins, and pumpkins have a growth time of two days. So okay, so even if you had, even if you grew 200 at once, which would probably be a bit daunting, you'd still have to wait the two days to get like yeah, two. Well, I mean, you wouldn't have to wait two days because oh, because you water It's them. like. Uh, a day and something, but it's still a long time. So where do we see this boost? If you look at the plant. Okay. So like this strawberry right here has a day and it's got about half its water left. So if we water it, it takes about three and a half hours off of there. Oh, okay. I'm following. I thought the boost was something separate. But you're just talking about the water boost. So, okay. So, okay, I guess I can look that up as well. won't stop eating. So, have we, we've unlocked everything now at our level, correct? Other than just more areas? Correct. So what's kind of the level where you unlock the last stuff? Well, I guess I can kind of look here. 21? Uh, I think it's 20. It might be 21. Wheat's 21, so... Oh, plum tree's 22. Okay. This no, 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 no. That's not the level that you unlock it at. That's oh. the level that it is. Oh, okay. So that's different. Okay. So, like, if you look at the wheat, wheat is level 21. So on harvest, it pays out 1.12. That's not what it pays out at level 1. Oh, okay. So this stuff is leveled up. Yeah. So if you look at, like, the poppies, the poppies are level 1. So... It costs 170 to plant them, plus the 10 for the uh, for the plow, so that's 180. So the harvest only pays out 220. So, oh, you're, only so. Making, you're only making 40 coin per plant. So I'm looking at it. Every plant starts at level one, then. Correct. And you've you've just got the wheat to level 21. Yes. I I've it. harvested a lot of wheat. But generally, when you're starting out, like, uh, again, this is not the way we did it with Vaz Farm. On Vaz, on Vaz, on Vaz Farm, uh, we went really ham on the lettuce. So I don't know what kind of profit, I don't know what it is now, but I believe it was like 50 something. I don't know what level hers is, but. Like uh, like I said, I think the base harvest that you get out of lettuce is like 30. So you're only making 5 coin per harvest. But uh, hers pays out 50 something plus. Which would be great, except that... that would, I mean, that would be great starting out, but she can plant stuff that's a lot more profitable, I think. Our real money maker was a uh, cabbage on that farm. Okay. Or here you only have cabbage with for level three. Yeah, I didn't do much cabbage. Here I did mostly long-term stuff, so I could like 
plan a bunch of stuff and then log out and then not have to worry about it for a day. Okay. And that's exactly what Wong did as well. So do we do... Have you been doing much fabric or not a whole lot? Yes. Uh, there's none currently, but uh, I was before. Like this field down here... Where there are sunflowers currently, well, this was all cotton. Oh, okay. And cotton you sell at the, the looms right here. You can also get cotton from mulberry trees, which is probably what I'll do in the future, as opposed to cotton. Because, again, trees don't require maintenance. Exactly. But trees require more space, too, don't they? Uh, no, they still only take up a tile. Okay. So, like, if you put a cotton here, that would take up a tile, and it would only give you one. And cotton has a growth time of 10 hours, or 12 hours. Whereas a mulberry tree, where is that? Mulberry tree can be harvested uh, back to back in summer and in fall. Oh, okay. But again, the big difference between trees and everything else is that trees require uh, a big upfront cost. Yeah. Well, and then you have to be there in the season. Yeah. Because if you just if you plant a whole bunch of cotton, you could harvest all the cotton, come back, like harvest all the cotton. We plant it and then just come back whenever it's grown. Where you would, if you planted the trees, you'd have to actually be there in summer and fall. So yeah, if it was winter, you couldn't uh, just log on. Yeah, but the uh, but the seasons aren't that long. And first of all, and second of all, it like it's back to back. It's, it's summer and fall. Yeah. So. Yeah, you, if you log down at the beginning of summer, you get you get a piece of cloth, and, you, and then you wait 17 minutes, you get another piece of cloth. So if I was in the cloth or the textile business, uh, mulberry trees would be the way to go. So, by the quest, a quest. So is there going to be a quest that says sell so much cloth, or is it always going to be like? Harvest as much cotton, like, like cotton. I've never, plants. I've never, I've never seen one that uh, for something like that. No. Like you know, make twenty jam. I haven't seen that. Yeah, it's always like harvest this or it's always harvesting something. Yeah, as far as I've seen. What's harvested in the fall? Lemons. Lemons are harvested in the fall. There you go, lemon tree leveled up. So it's kind of to your best interest to plant stuff in 3x3 three three grids, though. Yes. I mean, uh, that's how I like to do it. Yeah, no, like, that that makes a lot of sense, because that's what your tractor does, so... I mean, you'll, you'll learn very quickly that what is efficient for gas is better. Because it's so hard to get the gas pumps when you're starting out. Yeah, that makes sense. The quest that I had earlier today was for 290 ducks. And you did it with just with this many? No, there the area where the pigs were. Uh, this where is that? This area where the, this whole thing was ducks. 
So, you sold the ducks or what? Oops. Yeah. So did you get money back for selling them or you just... You get 50% of what you uh, paid for it. Oh, okay. So, I mean, it's rounded up. So, like, uh, like this road costs one diamond to put down. So if you picked up this road or you recycled the road, you would get one back. Oh, okay. So if it costs three, you would get two. Kind oh, of okay. So the ducks cost 3k, I think, to put down. Yep, so I get 3K. One, one and a half to get them back. Oh, okay. They just pissed me off, so I got rid of them. <laughs> well, what if your next quest is ducks again? Oh, after I'm done with this quest, I don't have to worry about quests anymore. Oh, because you'll be able to get rid of some jam. Yep. And then I guess once you start getting rid of some jam, then you can really easily start getting... You can buy the other two stalls and then you'll... Just be... You can use those as well to get ribbons. Yeah, go full melon. And just, well... No, I'm not. I'm probably not gonna do... I might do some melon just to get a, a load of fruit, but I'm probably gonna go most of the trees. But the property never costs... Um, ribbons. No. Uh, well, it, it, the higher the higher ones might. I don't know. Uh, so far, it's just been diamonds. But again, once you get the the stall, you won't be really worried about ribbons probably at all. Well, so I'll still be worried about them. I'm gonna have to get like a ton of gas pumps. <laughs> because I'll tell you what, there's never enough gas pumps. Okay. So there's grapes over here. Do you want me to harvest them, or...? Yeah, go for it. Do you want me to replant them? Uh, can you do red grapes this time of year? Uh... Oh, you have to... Do. Do, you, do you have to... You have to plant them in season? Yeah, gr red grapes can only be done in spring and winter. Oh, okay. Well, it's supposed to be winter, but I'll come back. Oh, you can even put science down. That's kind of neat. Yeah. Yeah, I can see how you could be stuck playing this game for hours because it's just just one more season just 44 just 40 minutes for my cows to be done well it's not just that it's you know if you get done planting this thing and then the thing that you planted an hour ago is ready to harvest yeah which is De Dez wild. lost two hours earlier yeah <laughs> he didn't even realize i didn't uh. even realize Shadow, do you know what Des told me too last week? Shadow, do you know what Des just told me last week as well? Was um. I'm I'm just gonna show Wong what we've done and then we're gonna then we're gonna quit playing. <laughs> I was quoting Va. Oh no, I don't see Va on the farm. Well, I don't know what's going on on her farm. Oh, so. So, this is your farm. Correct. So, like, this, so is this all pretty much stuff you've done? Like, Vaz farm is uh, kind of like the community farm. Well, yeah, Vaz farm is where we did all the work initially, and all I was doing here was just long-term stuff. But most everything here, uh, either Wong or Shadow or Va helped with. 
Oh, okay. You can't use tractors for animals, right? No. Did they give truffles? Yep, pigs give truffles. Okay. Twenty-five minutes on the cows. They all have identical haircuts, by the way, Des. The cows have cowlix. Oh, is a, I guess that because that's what they're going for. Do the Jersey cows have cowlix? I think it's a different color. Yeah, it's different color. I like that you can hear someone run by. Yeah, the noise changes based on what you're what you're on as well. So what's the cooldown on a gas pump before it can be used again, or is it or it has a it's, certain amount of gas in it? Uh, both. It's a minute before it's up again, and you know it has a certain amount of fuel in it. Okay. So if you used it, you it, you would draw more fuel than if I used it because you have a bigger reservoir or tank, whatever you want. To yeah. Have. If uh, I think if it's if the gas pump is full, that only fills up my capacity to about a third. Oh, okay. Anything else? Or that's pretty much it. That's just about everything. Just sucked all your wisdom out right there. Mm hmm. You get rid of the fish? I think I'm gonna put the jam stand here. Do you want me to get rid of these fish too, or? No. I'm gonna just... leave them there for right now. Okay. Okay, everybody. Well, I think that was your intro. Yeah, and that's the well. The well just gives you money just every, money every time. few minutes. I had a farm with wells. Just just wells? But, well, but you can't use the tractor on them, right? Correct. So, <laughs> Otherwise it'd be totally broken. So you just take, but it would take, just since you have to do them individually, it'd take you forever to get like, anything done. You'd be better off with trees. Yeah, but if uh, there was at least one instance on Vaz farm where we were all standing around with nothing to do because somebody had bought some very expensive animals. Oh, don't point fingers. Or was it you? No, it okay. was not me. Was it Wong? It was not Wong. Oh, okay. Oh, sorry, I didn't feed your New Hampshire chickens. Anyway, anyway, guys, I think that is your introduction to Farm Together. You should have everything you need to start playing. So, thanks, guys, for coming out for this tutorial. We'll be back in the next one for more. Thanks, guys. Later.